Hi and welcome to another one of Winston's quick and dirty comfy UI walkthroughs. Tonight I'm going to be looking at uh, using IP adapters to help with your composi image compositions. So let's start off by putting in a basic generation element. Just add that group. I've done a separate uh, quick walkthrough on how I use no templates to do this quickly and I also want a IP adapter image mask element which in true blue Peter fashion here's one I prepared earlier and then let's just very quickly join this model over to here and then bring the model back down into where it should go over the side a bit okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a picture of a pretty girl on the beach so first thing I want is get rid of that uh, very simple prompt a sun-kissed tropical beach uh, I want to change it because I want 16.9 landscape find my pretty girl now for those of you in the UK you may recognize that face it's good old Linda Lusardi which for those of us of a certain age has a lot of meaning okay so I'm just going to leave this exactly as it is for the moment the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this uh, attention mask link then click on Q prompt. Bear in mind I am using a 1080 Ti uh, however I am using uh, LCM method so it's reasonably quick. Now again so that's taken elements of it and it's certainly a picture of a pretty girl on a beach well, it's a bit mangled in the legs it's not the best composition but as you can see it just sticks at the moment it puts her in right in the middle I don't want her there I want her standing over on the left hand side of the image here so this load image section I've just loaded up a 16 by 9 ratio plain white image which I'm going to use as a mask and connect it back into the apply IP adapter I'm going to go into the mask editor and I'm just going to draw over on the right hand side a quick Easter Island man. Save that to nose. I'm not going to change any of the settings and I'm just going to click on Q prompt again. And that's two, three, four, five coming in. As you can see, we've now got her over on the left hand side of the image. Uh, running through different generations, we'll end up with her either standing, that's a little bit hit and miss. Uh, there may be a way to work around that. I've yet to find it. As you can see, that's quite a nice image, and it's not bad. Uh, just run another one, see if I get something slightly different. Which I probably won't, because I've just noticed I'm on fixed. I've got a bad habit of doing that. Let's put that on randomise. Do that again. Oh, there we go, this time she's standing up. she's over on the left hand side of the image again don't worry too much about the quality I'm not trying to do this as a quality output I'm just using this to demonstrate using IP adapters to help you position so let's fix uh, sorry not let's not fix that now let's go and put her over on the right hand side ba, 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 ba. Uh, opening mask 
forget it. Uh, Almost all up to the top. Just to make sure I fill it to the bottom. Save that to the node. Let's regenerate it. And that's starting to come in. One, two, three, four, five steps. And that's now given me her over on the right hand side of the image exactly where I wanted her. And so you can use this. It, it doesn't have to be pretty girls on beaches. I mean I could for argument's sake uh, take a picture of a ginger cat. I could stick the ginger cat on here. Of course, everyone likes a cat on a beach. And again, by playing with the strength here, it depends on how much of it comes through in there. That said, whilst the cat looks nice on the beach, he'd probably be more at home in a dirty, gritty New York back alley. Rubbish. goes there we go exactly what I asked for so I say that's just a very quick and dirty walkthrough of how you can use IP adapters to help with put your com image composition and putting various elements where you want them cheers guys